840 horsepower. A bit salty from the container maybe, from the sea salt or something. All the way from Kuwait. It's probably one of the most exclusive cars from far away that we have driven so far. It will be very exciting. Thank you so much for stopping by and shipping this baby over. So you told me 840 horsepower? 840, yeah, on the wheels. On the wheels, so it's like thousand or something on the crank, probably more. Yeah, -ish. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Track edition GTR with a couple of mods. We are running Nanking Air One tires. Suspension was stuck. He told me. Big wing, a bit of aero mods with a proper navy crane sticker as well, of course. Four point harnesses. We have a half cage in the back. I guess let's hop in and do a lap. Step suspension. Yes, put it in R. Traction control off. The good old days when GTRs were very common and popular and we were uh, two up, one down, foot on the brake, launch control go. <laughs>
Nice. Yeah, twice nice. <laughs> Very easy car to drive. You know when you're going fast, yeah, it cools more faster. Okay. Yeah, too bad of the traffic, but um, yeah, it is what it is. But this was nice. Like, yeah. Once the t tires were up to temperature, it was a uh, good fun. Very, uh, very stable. I like it. So it's, uh, it's good. Well, thanks for this experience. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you had fun too. Yeah, temperature yeah. is also quite good. 112. So I guess the the cooling is also modified then, probably. Yeah, it has a, it has bigger intercooler mm -hmm. and the HKS DCT cooler. That's important. Yeah. For the transmission, it has also the uh, ZR1 carbon ceramic. Yeah. Yeah, I used to make uh, uh, conversion conversion kit. kit yeah, because ZR1 yeah. is so cheap in comparison to the. Yeah, compared to the NISM one, which is. Around 24, 25,000. Yeah. Yeah, something like that.